Welcome to page two of your Excel lesson. This is lesson 1.2. You should be on page two of your packet. We're starting with question five, and we're going to be looking at how to deal with rational numbers. As we go through this entire page, we're always keeping in mind, mind the order of operation rules and what we give priority to. We're certainly going to clean up all parentheses first, then exponents, then any multiplication or division from left to right, and finally wrap it up with any adding or subtracting from left to right. Let's take a look at problem number five. Before we jump in, you'll notice it's a mix of fractions, and decimals. If you check out the answers, some of them are positive, some of them are negative, but I hope you notice all of them are decimals. So it would be wise to convert all the fractions into decimal form so we can proceed the proper way through this problem. We want to end up with some sort of decimal answer. So we're going to have to convert 7 tenths into a decimal. If you don't know what it is already, grab your calculator and write, punch in 7 divided by 10. You should have gotten negative 0.7, don't leave behind the negative symbol, plus 15 hundredths 0.15, divided by a negative 0.125. Please record that on your paper. Now we have converted all of our values into decimal form. And according to PEMDAS, we should clean up these parentheses first. You're going to enter negative 0.7 plus 0.15. Please do that. You should have gotten negative 0.55, and we're dividing that by negative 0.125. Now stop for a moment and think about Margar. We're dividing two negative numbers. Please take down these notes. When you do that, you know you're going to get a positive result. Well, can't we eliminate choice A and choice B because both of them are negative values? We're expecting a positive result. Go ahead and punch that problem into your calculator. At the end, we'll check our answers together for the moment, let's move on to problem number six. Once again, problem number six asks us to find the value of the expression. We have parentheses and we have divided by negative 2.5. Check out the answers. All of our answers are in decimal form. So let's take those mixed numbers and turn them into decimal values. Grab your calculator and look at one half. We know, many of us know, that one half is equal to 0.5. So rewrite it with the 0 0.5, 3.5. For the 3 fourths, a lot of us know what that's equivalent to as a decimal. But if you don't, grab your calculator and punch in 3 divided by 4. You should have gotten 9.75. That's going to be divided by a negative 2.5. Now grab your calculator and get rid of the parentheses. You need to take 3.5 minus 9.75.
you should have gotten negative 6.25. And we still have to divide by a negative 2.5. But once again, let's be smart about it. We know we've got Margar rules working for us on this division problem. A negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive. So can't we eliminate choice A and choice B? Use your calculator to finish this problem and circle the correct answer. Now let's move on to problem number seven. In problem number seven, once again, we have to find the value of the expression. Now, it seems pretty simple. I have 8 fifteenths divided by negative 0.35. But check out our answers. They're in fraction form. So I'm going to take the 35 hundredths and rewrite it as a fraction. 8 fifteenths, of course, is positive, divided by negative 35 hundredths is just 35 over 100. Now, if we were doing this by hand, we would certainly keep it, change it, flip it. And we would think about Margar and her different eyes. We know we're going to get a negative result. And as you can see, all the answers we've been given are negative. So use your calculator and punch it in as you're given this answer. 8 ABC 15 divided by negative 35 ABC 100. You should get the answer negative 1 and 1 and 11 21st on your calculator. But as you look at this, you say none of these reflect that answer. Well, we have to get this into improper form. I hope you remember around the world from last year. We know it's a negative amount. You're going to take 21 times 1 plus the remainder 11 on top. And on the bottom, you have a denominator of 21. When you've made this improper, go ahead and circle the correct answer. Clearly, because we're looking for an improper answer, it's not negative 21 over 32, and it's not negative 14 over 75. It has to be either A or B. Let's take a look at number eight. I'm gonna change things up and cross off the choices. We're just going to look at this division problem and do it the old school way. It says, Amber determined that the expression negative one half divided by negative 41 fifteenths is equivalent to 15 over 82. Well, remember, this is just a complex fraction. And if I were to write it as a division problem, and I'd like you to do this, it would be negative one half divided by negative 41 over 15. But for fraction division, I hope you remember from sixth grade, we do keep it, change it, flip it. And we rewrite it as negative one half times, now apply the negative to the numerator, negative 15 over 41. And we are doing, of course, Margar multiplication. We're taking two negative values and you know we're going to get a positive value. So your answer, whatever it is, is going to be positive. And just a reminder, the way we multiply our fractions, we certainly do top times top 
1 times 15 is 15. Bottom times bottom. 2 times 41 is 82. So Amber was right, and that was a good review for us. Now, we're going to check our answers. You should have completed 5, 6, and 7. Here are the answers. Please grade your paper. For number 5, you should have gotten choice C. Give yourself a C if you got it right. For number six, you should have chosen choice D. Give yourself a C if you got that one right. And finally, for number seven, you should have chosen B. Give yourself a C if you got that one right. Please score yourself. If you got minus zero, you really got three out of three right. We're not going to count number eight. This concludes the video for page two.